Okay, so it is Friday, uh, March 24th, and tomorrow we're heading to um, go stay in our Airbnb for a week so that we can do all the drugs and get ultrasounds every other day. Um, I wanted to do an update because I'm guessing we're going to be doing some more updates here soon, and I just wanted to um, try to not do everything all at once again like I have in the past. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the start of the drugs, <laughs> which has not been fun. Um, I know I said that I thought birth control would be the worst part. Well, my boobs no longer hurt, but it is still not the good times over here. So, um, 12 days of these meds and then I think there's more meds down the road somewhere. So, just one step at a time, I guess. Um, right now I am doing... Uh, baby aspirin in the morning and I have an injection in the morning and then I have an injection in the evening and both of these injections are just like tiny needles they're in the stomach so I feel like I'm a diabetic or something um, they're pretty easy Chris has learned how to do it he's doing a great job um, I think it still freaks him out he's not crazy about it but he's doing it so um, I'm just going to show you guys the mass amount of stuff that I have so you can see what's happening. And once we get there, I think in a couple of days, um, so we don't have an appointment tomorrow when we go there. The day after that, on a Sunday, which is really weird, we do have an appointment. And I think they're going to um, do an ultrasound so they can see how my follicles are developing. And then... Um, I think they are also going to possibly add another med. There will be another injectable med added at some point, um, but I don't know. I can't remember which day it is. I, I could look in the schedule in here. So here's what I have. I have two Sharps containers, just the little ones. Here's my alcohol pads and my gauze. These are some extra needles. A big bag of needles. Um, this is doxycycline. I guess once they do the egg retrieval, I'm going to be taking this for a few days just to make sure um, I don't get any infections or anything from them poking through my walls to get eggs. Um, this is my baby aspirin. I just saw for the first time today. It has a little heart on one side of it. Um, and I mentioned it to Chris and he was like, babe, that's ecstasy. And I was like, well, thank God, because I need something right now. Something better than what's happening. Um, I think that's it. And then these are the caps to um, the little medicine containers. I have a bunch of these in my like craft box. Um, I used to collect them when I was a medical assistant because people would make little... People would make like badge reels out of them or they would make like art projects out of them. Um, and I kind of just decided maybe I'll make something out of this. I thought the colors were really cute. They're like a nice pink and orange. I don't know if I could make some kind of like sunset thing or something, but um, it might be like a cool little piece of art to have and remember this. Not that I really want to remember this, but you know, um, make something beautiful out of it. So, here are my drugs. Um, let's start with this one. This one's called uh, Gonal, and it is. I think this one is. One of them is, is only FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and the other one is um, FSH and LH, luteinizing hormone. And I can't remember which one is which. Regardless, this is the one that we do in the morning. Yeah, there's a ton of boxes of it. And it looks like this. It's like a little pen. Um, so you pull off the cap, you attach this tiny needle there on the end, and then it's exactly like a diabetic. There's like a little window here and 
you put it at the amount of units that you're going to use. For me, it's um, 225 every morning. So this one's kind of the easy one. It has the tinier needles. Um, if you know your needle sizes, they're 25 gauge, or sorry, 29 gauge, half inch, um, super tiny, super skinny. So that's that. There's tons of boxes of it. And it comes with these little you can't see the needles um, but these are the needles that you screw on that one's pretty easy Chris prefers that one um, he gets that one ready himself and isn't worried about it the next one I'm gonna show you I prep for him, which I prefer it that way anyways, just because I trust myself and um, and trust my skills at drawing up meds, so <laughs> no offense to him, but um, I just like doing it myself. So I get it ready and then I hand it to him. It comes with these really cool things that I've never seen. This is like a little cap that fits over the vaccine bottle. Um, I'm gonna assume you guys don't know anything, so I'm sorry if I make you feel stupid. So usually when you're drawing things up, you pop off this cap on the top and then you attach the needle to the syringe and you stick the needle in there. You know, you guys have seen this and then you draw it up. Um, so your needle can kind of like, you know, bend around you have to hold it still this thing fits on the top of here and it keeps it straight and it has a little needle in it um, that goes into the bottle and so it's kind of like drawing up for dummies and you attach the syringe to the other side of it it's actually pretty cool I've been using it just because they're here um, but the nice thing about it is that when you're drawing up and you're pulling out of the bottom of the bottle if you have a long needle you have to pull the needle all the way to the bottom of where the liquid is or else you'll have a little bit left in there and you want to draw up as much as you can this thing the opening of it is like right at the edge on the bottom so it's like it's like a cheat easy way to draw it up and get every little drop which is super cool i like it a lot um and there are some extras of those so i'm i'm just gonna keep them and collect them um so this comes with a bottle of two milliliters of just normal saline and a bunch of these. Um, this is the actual med. It's called Menipur, Menipur? I don't know how to say it. Um, but the med itself is a powder and you have to reconstitute it with the saline. Um, this is a 75 unit bottle and I have to use two of these. I have to use 150. So basically I draw up one milliliter of these two milliliters of the saline, then I inject that into one bottle, mix it up, draw that back up, and then I inject it into another bottle of the powder medicine, um, mix that up, and then I draw it up again. And so I end up with about 0.8 milliliters um, of this, you know, concentrated or, you know, diluted, um, dose of it so it's not too bad um like i said chris is not about it he doesn't want to have to be in charge of figuring that out but i like it so that is the evening injection um and that one stings a little bit more the morning one i really cannot even feel this one's slightly bigger uh, i said earlier the morning needles are 29 gauge half inch. These are 27 gauge half inch, so they're a tiny bit thicker. Um, still not that big of a deal, but yeah, the medication stings a little bit. Um, and pretty much it. So this one is the one that we have not started. These bags of meds are just huge. Like there's just. There's just so much. Um, and these are all refrigerated, so they're taking up our whole fridge, like I said. But um, that other, that last one, we're gonna add at some point, I think this weekend or early this coming week. Um, 
We're gonna be doing the meds every day, like I said, ultrasounds every other day to check out my follicles. And then hopefully April 3rd, which is not this coming Monday, but the following Monday, um, we will be, be doing egg retrieval. That's not a guarantee, it just depends on how things are looking. She said it could be anywhere from April 1st to April 5th. So we only took off of work up until April 3rd, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, as far as how I've been feeling, there's actually more things in here. There's a lovely douche, um, which I guess I'm supposed to do before the egg retrieval. I think they said the night before and then the morning of. Um, this grosses me out. Like, who, who wants to do this? And you're always told as a woman to never do this, so it's really weird that I'm not looking forward to this. Um... Lubrilide. This is for the trigger, I think. The, I don't know. And then, Pregnil, it's another trigger, I don't know. I don't know how these work. Things we haven't started yet. Um, yeah, so how I've been feeling. At first I didn't notice, um, like the first day or something, but then I kind of started to feel worse. Um, I've had a headache for, I don't know, like 48 to 72 hours and I just got rid of it last night. Um, and I have been taking ibuprofen during it, um, not often, like once a day, just to try to get rid of it, but it just persistently comes back. Today I had no headache all day, thank God. Um, yesterday was miserable, I felt just tired, like burned out, like I was sick or something, like coming down with the flu. Um, and then I had that headache all day. I was crying, I was super weepy um, about just little things. And just, yeah, the injections are definitely not the bad part. It's the way that it makes you feel afterwards. But today has been a good day. Yesterday I tried to go to work and I made it for like two hours and I was like, I cannot do this. So I came home. But yeah, today I was able to get some things done, which is good. Um, I wanted to show you guys some other things. So I've gotten some cute little things from people, places. This is from the med company that we ordered our meds from. Um, Chris thought this was really cute. I think it's cute too. Um, so it says, uh, it says, no two fertility journeys are alike. No matter where you are in the process, it can sometimes be easy to lose hope. Let this be a reminder that hope is always with you. And then it says, you got this. And it's a little pink bead bracelet and it has the word hope on it, which is really cute that the pharmacy did that. So I'm probably gonna put that on this week, maybe just for attempted good luck. Um, I also wanted to show you some lovely friends got me some cute gifts and I just think they are so adorable. So I wanted to share what they gave me. Um, my friend Sam has a friend who went through IVF and so she decided to get me a gift. She asked her friend what she should get me and this is kind of the feedback um, that came from her friend. And I don't really know if it's meant, if her friend was meaning for right now or if she was meaning for later on because I think once they implant the eggs um, or the embryos, you do more meds. So I'm not sure if it was meant for this part that makes you feel like crap or the next part or all of it, I don't know. Either way, um, this is what she got me. She got me an electrolyte drink mix. <laughs> I wish she was here to explain these things better. Um, she got me a couple pairs of socks that are really cute. This one says, turns out I'm tough as shit. <laughs> this one says, um, anxious and sexy. That's definitely me. I like that. Um, this is some cute band-aids and this is a little buzzy um, ladybug. I, I guess it's for like pain distraction, like shots for your shots distraction. So it buzzes and you put it on you um, and I think you leave it on buzzing while you're getting the injection so it kind of like detracts from 
the pain, but it was just a little fuzzy ladybug. <laughs> Um, and it shows it like attached to your arm. And then it comes with a couple of tiny cold packs that you put on there too. Super cute. Obviously meant for children, but I can be a child. I'm okay with that. I think this is really adorable. Right now I don't need it because these injections are no biggie, but eventually I might go to that. Um, and then she got me some Colace, which if you don't know is stool softener because apparently some of these mids make you really constipated. I haven't experienced that yet, but I'm not going to be surprised if and when I do. And that's a practical gift to me because, you know, I'm a nurse, so I don't think it's that weird. <laughs> I probably will need it at some point. So that's from Sammy, and um, this one's from Lily, who's also adorable and is like my number one biggest supporter on here. I have no idea why, but she's been so wonderful and has helped me get through, and um, I just adore her for that. She randomly dropped off at my work this bag. Um, she got me a candle. She got me a journal and what she said was uh, maybe your kiddo will want to read eventually um, when they're older how much you went through to get them, which I thought was really sweet. She got me some chocolate, some cute little magnets, a couple of little, these are like skinny highlighter pens. and some face masks, and then she wrote me a card. Um, so thank you guys, you guys are amazing. I never expect any of these things from people. I guess I'm kind of like, I just don't think about things, so I don't, I don't think about doing things like this, but I'm always surprised and overwhelmed with gratitude when people do these kind of things for me. So I just wanted to give a shout out on here. Um, what else was I gonna say to you guys? Um, Sam also made me a baby registry. I know that's insane. Uh, part of me feels like maybe I shouldn't put all my eggs in one basket, but part of me feels like it's nice to have something to look forward to. Um, this is something I asked her to do a long time ago before I found out that anything was going on with me. And she is like a crazy planner and she just loves planning, loves researching. And she did a ton of that stuff for her baby. So um, I already trusted her before she had her baby on a, the things that she had researched. But now that she has her baby, I especially trust her. So she made a whole registry for me and I tweaked it a little bit, but um, I've been like, working on that when I feel kind of sad. Um, it makes me feel more positive and hopeful that this will work out. So that's about all that's going on. And I will probably um, do another video while we're at the Airbnb and check in with you guys about how things are going and see if the egg retrieval is um, on track for April 3rd or if it's gonna be before or after. I'll let you know. And I think that is it.